Hey, what's up guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy morning. Happy Sunday morning, guys. Hope you all had, had a good weekend. Uh, kind of finishing it off with some pleasure and some leisure and some rest, hopefully. Getting ready for the new week, the new grind. Uh, I am in Santa Cruz, the Santa Cruz area, for my daughter's basketball game in about 15 minutes. Yesterday, I was at my son's game uh, in the Central Valley of California, and my wife was with my daughter. So today, we swapped. So today, my wife is with uh, my son at his basketball game or tournament game uh, day two, and I am at my daughter's game. Uh, so you know how it is. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make sure you uh, stay involved with both your both your kids, all your kids, uh, and you know, be be present, right? So today, really quick, guys. So yesterday, I was driving uh, the area where my my son's tournament is at is. Um, an affluent area, right? Big houses, nice area, green pastures, very beautiful. And I'm driving and I'm like, man, you know, these are beautiful houses. My wife loves to see houses. Like we drive through neighborhoods and she's literally, oh my God, that's cute, that's cute, that's cute. I don't do that, you know? And I was driving and, and watching and looking at these beautiful homes and it dawned on me that I never have really ever wanted a big house, you know, a big, nice house. I never, it was even in my thought process. And it it occurred to me, and it reminded me, actually, I already knew this, but it reminded me that I didn't, I've never wanted, you know, a mansion. I've never wanted a huge house because I never really believed I could have one, right? So part of, part of our, of what we want is based upon our belief system. And so because I never grew up, you know, thinking about having money and being rich. Good morning, man. Uh, I'm good. How are you? Good. Good luck, buddy. So I never I never grew up thinking about that. There's the ref. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> God bless you, man. Uh, so I never I never grew up thinking about having a big mansion, a big house. So because of that, I never really wanted it. And so... Part of why you don't have what you want, part of why you're not lean yet and haven't lost that weight, part of why you're not financially secure or stable or even rich yet, part of why you haven't gotten that advancement in your career, part of the reason why you haven't finished your education is because you won't, don't really believe you can have it, right? So without that belief system, you don't even try or think about it, right? If you don't believe you can have the love of your life, you don't really even seek out the people that you really want in your life. If you don't think you can build a career and be a speaker, Coach Bobby, you won't do things to really move toward that goal or that dream because you don't believe it. And so without that belief system, you begin to, to ignore anything that's moving toward that dream. And you begin to uh, discount or disqualify yourself from achieving that dream or that goal. And that adds up over the years to the point where you never even think about being skinny again. You never even think about having an ideal relationship again. You never even think about being rich again. You never even think about having a beautiful family that lives in a nice house that goes on vacations. You don't even think about that stuff anymore. And that's a sad state to be in and and you look around and people get into that state of life earlier and earlier like their 30s and 20s they've given up on dreaming about being great in their lives right being skinny being rich being fulfilled being happy being successful um, all those things they've given up because they didn't really believe they could do it and so if you don't believe something in your life right then you don't want it Right, you can't want it. So if you don't believe you can be rich, you can't want to be rich, right? If you don't believe you can have that beautiful woman or that beautiful man, then you don't even want them anymore, right? And if you don't want something that's hard to attain, you can't ever get it. You have to want to play in the NBA to, in, in order to grind for thousands of hours to be in the NBA. You have to want to be a CEO of a company because it's hard to get. You have to want to be a millionaire to do it. So if you don't believe you can do it, then you don't really want it. 
And if you don't want it, then you really can't have it. So I talk about in my five steps to greatness that before the diet plan, before the workout program, before the books, before the seminar, before the mentorship, before any of that is effective, you have to first want it and believe you can have it before anything can work. Right, my five steps, you know, they have things that help you along the way once you get to the point where you really want it. But the first two steps are critical. You have to want it and believe it. And so, again, it occurred to me as I was driving, I never really wanted a big house because I didn't believe I could have a big house and be rich. Now I'm moving past those things with, with habits and exercises and things that I do. But until I fix that, I could never get to where I am now until I believed I could be a speaker, until I believed I could be rich and famous, I could never really want it, right? And because I didn't really want it deep down in my core, I, I, I sabotaged my efforts, my fake efforts toward getting there. So I'm gonna go over all those things, guys, in my seminar, April 30th, uh, 8 a.m., virtually and in person. But again, you know, we begin to remove ourselves from the game, so to speak. We, we begin to disqualify ourselves from all sorts of great things in life, right? Being rich, being famous, being skinny, being an inspiration, uh, being in a great relationship. We begin to disqualify ourselves because we don't believe we can be those things. And so because we don't believe it, we don't even try to do it anymore. And that's sad. And so I'm going to help you guys kind of figure out what, what you're doing in your lives to self-sabotage and ways to give back that belief that you can be whatever you want. You can be skinny, you can be rich, you can be fulfilled, you can be famous, you can be successful, you can have that degree, have that promotion, have whatever you want, guys. But we have to start with the foundation of, of what it takes to be there, and that is a belief system and a real want and desire to do it. All right, guys, so, so again, April 30th, 8 a.m., uh, in person in San Jose and virtually. So continue to watch out, out for the details. Uh, but I had the formula, guys. I'm still working on some things in my life, but the formula holds true, right? The five steps hold true. And I'm gonna give you guys all those, all those steps. But the first one and second one is a belief system and a real want and desire to be great. All right, guys, gotta go. My daughter plays in like 10 minutes, but uh, enjoy your Sunday. And let's get off to a great week, guys. All right, love you. Take care. Bye-bye.